Hello everyone and welcome back to Orange Studios. I am Intriga and once again we are going to do another um, flyer breakdown. So this time around we are going to do a part two of the crossover flyer series. Um, this is it. So you're going to turn this off if you have the access to the project file which we made available. Um, you can support us by going for this project file and it will be a blessing to us. So you just turn this layer off and then you see this everything is set in groups so it's easy to go about it so i have the elements we used or i used down here they are they are here these are all the elements nothing more nothing less these are just all the elements so um let's let's get started so we begin by creating this shape over the canvas area just cover it so we give it the color we want and to do that we are going to pick this color right here so I have this color set here and this is the color code you can copy and paste so the next thing we are going to do is to drop in this image here this image here to create help create the beautiful background we want we are going to apply a layer mask once again we apply a layer mask the reason we do that and not use the eraser tool is that it will help us edit the image after we've edited it it sounds some way right so i'm going to clean this side if i wanted to restore this side i would just change the foreground color from black to white so i'll click on this arrow here you change it to white and then i can restore but with the eraser you have to do ctrl z to undo but what if you've gone over 50 actions after you want to do the corrections it means you have to undo all the work you've done and then redo them so that's just too hectic so just apply a layer mask um, use the foreground color black to erase make sure your brush is set to soft so the general brush is pick a soft round brush and then you gently erase this side so this is what we have here the next thing we are going to do is to change the blend mode for this from normal to lighten so we pick this here which is this very one here so that it gives us this effect i like this kind of old school look and then we will do one more thing we'll move to filter go to blur gaussian blur add some blur to it and this should be enough you can increase that much as you want but we don't want that we want this all right so now the next thing i'm going to do or you could do is to add the theme all right so if we're not going to use this 3d out here you probably want to type out your theme let's see well enough of the experiment but you can go about it doing it your way and it will fit you know just so that you know that you don't necessarily have to um, find it difficult doing a title so let's delete this all right now we are going to drop this that we have right here into it so that's what we want to do now that we have this positioned here all right uh, we just pick a spot for it maybe this side and then we can add a drop down shadow so that it will not look so angry there so let's, let's give it some drop down shadow increase the size to give it some fill here um, yeah, this could be okay alright so with this done the next thing you see we are just arranging it taking the one after the other so now that you've done the background you want to drop in the theme the next thing you want to do is probably um who can we drop what can we drop in here probably the guests okay so that we can know if where we are positioned this young man here is okay so now let's go back here pick these guys okay uh, let's pick them all and drop them here all right so now we are going to arrange all of these guys just be sh just just to be sure we we have positioned our theme very well okay so control t to bring out the transform large all right so i happen to have selected all take it here bring this guy up all right take him up here probably position me somewhere here and then bring up this guy to take him away from there take him here all right so you can choose to try and then align their heads so 
this guy's head kind of matches with this guy. Alright, so now that we've positioned them well properly, making sure that they are properly aligned, you know. Yeah, so this should be okay. Now we can put all of these guys in the group, right? Call them probably the guests. And then we can apply a layer mask. Then we can fade this side of the body out. So can B uh, to bring out the brush to can reduce the size by using the close or open bracket key. Then we fade out the sides. Okay. Let's restore this side just a little bit. Nice one. So we can now um, okay, so this is clear. It's clear that the position is not bad. That's okay. Alright, so yes, this this is fine. Then we can now drop the main creature somewhere in here all right so now we have him down here and this this cool what we are going to do is to add some drop down shadows so it gives them it separates them from these guys all right so let's select all of these guys and apply some drop down shadow select this add the drop down shadow uh, you can reduce the size the opacity all right this is fine now we can copy this layer max by clicking somewhere in this region the effects region and then copy layer style select the other two right right click somewhere here and then paste layer style so we have it affected we can do same for this right click and then paste layer style so you see the before and after that's fine so we can go back and then the next thing we are going to do is to create the space for the logo and then we are going to do that by using this rectangle tool here create this I'm going to do a quick show on how to go about it and then we are going to add some anchor points right so add an anchor point here and add another one here now we are going to use the direct select tool which is this one direct select tool let's zoom in all right then select one anchor point push it up select one here drop it down so that we have this wavy effect we can now come up here select this anchor point move it select this and move so it's narrowed from bottom up or up down cool so with this we can now pick a color change it from white to another color and then we'll be done with that for now so let's just pick this color right here the same color right here all right and then we are going to drop this in here let's drop it press and hold the alt key take your mouse between the layer the rectangle layer and then the texture and then click all right so you can rotate it to fit so that the kind of the wave fits what we are doing so this is cool and then we'll change the blend mode from normal to uh, overlay screen whichever one works for you so i finally settled with divide and then we are going to copy this layer right so ctrl j to duplicate right then we take this above the one below above so it's covering it no problem ctrl t to bring out a transform then we are going to reduce it just a little bit so like this and like that okay then we'll drop the side a little hit enter then we are going to go to the shape tool so press u to bring out the shape tool come move over to the attribute right move here click on this change the fill to nothing so click on this move out to stroke and um, I'm going to use this one you can choose the either color you want to pick a color that makes sense so this makes sense for me then I'm going to change the thickness of the stroke to 7 should be fine yep and then I'm going to move this because it's, it's, it's not supposed to be seen so let's move it up cool now with this done all we have to do is to drop in the name right once we drop in the name we are good so now this gives us the logo so now you want to select all of this 
all of this okay the exception of this you can put it in a group you can call it the logo okay so let's call it the logo cool so what next the next thing we are going to do is to drop the information down here and our flyer it's almost ready what we are left to do is to add their names to it so let's move here right so cross over so we want to add a few details to it um if there's a need so we are bringing this here depending on who you are working for and what they said so you are bringing this up here take it up okay the gold here is not matching this so i can do something simple by you know there's a drop down shadow but by adding some hue and saturation so what i'm going to do is to take out some few reds all right so i'm zooming in so you can see now let me clip it to this okay so now you can see before and after so before then you see this color it's not really matching with this but after it's kind of matching so i just have to readjust add a little bit more red but it's looking more like it so before and after okay so it's not compulsory to go about it this way but it's it's nice to try and blend in the colors as much as you can do and we can put in a crossover it's 2022 right so i'm going to just do this and do this because i don't know if my i don't really know if my roman numerals are correct but what i'm trying to say is cross over 2022 as in 2022 the year 2022 um, well that's it so if it's not correct you can put the correct roman numerals down there in the comment section and i'll be grateful so this is it so the next thing once again we're going to do it very quick the next thing we are going to do is to just add their names and this is it so this is it right here but this this young man here is Minister Kwame Jan. You can find him on YouTube on Facebook as Kwame Jan. And this is Royal Chris. This is just a stock photo. So you can follow them and they will be a blessing to you. So just once again, just using their pictures for the tutorial. And this is Dr. Budi Nyamiche. Alright, so that's it. So that's it. This is this is how you can simply do a flyer without stress though so what we are going to do now is to put everything in groups so i like to put things in groups select everything all right and then put them where they are supposed to be so these are the names so i'm going to drop it here all right so finally this is what we've done just a quick one and like i said the project file will be available you just all you have to do is just support us and we'll be good Okay, so there we go this brings us to the end of today's tutorial i hope it was very helpful if it was don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are not already subscribed to this channel and if you have any question kindly leave that in the comment section and i'll respond have a good time